All right, today we are in downtown Sanford and we're gonna do the best we can with a tour of downtown, but it's probably just gonna be of First Street because downtown is actually pretty big. Some different sections. I mean, it, it'd be better to take a vehicle and drive around instead of walking everywhere. So we'll just kind of show you one spot that we like and if there's some other spots we can go to, great, but it would be kind of too long to walk around everywhere. So we might have to do it in sections. But today's mostly going to be First Street. Let's go check it out. We're going to start this at First Street and Sanford Ave. And the reason we're going to show Sanford Ave, just we're not going to walk down Sanford Ave because it's uh, quite a ways down there. But let me show you this. Look at this mural they have. Proudly serving Sanford Fire Department. But down Sanford, you have a foxtail. And then on down past that is the Sanford Brewing Co. that we did a video at. So it's on down that way. So sometime we'll have to come down and do just a tour of Sanford Street or Sanford Ave because there's some restaurants and stuff that way. But if we turn this way, again, here's the mural. Pretty cool mural. Um, and we there's a this parking lot off 1st Street. That's where we always park because it's free parking and you can always find a spot there. Uh, but we're going to start right at the front of 1st Street, walk down this side, turn around, and walk the other side. And that'll be our tour of 1st Street. So as we walk this way, this building, empty, gutted. So not much going on there. Again, here is the parking lot. That's a good parking lot. There's also some stuff over that way we're not going to get to today. I mean, Sanford's pretty spread out. It really is. Over here we have, doesn't appear to have much going on in this store. But right here, I think it's currently closed. Looks like an antique shop, vintage. And then on down, we're now at Palmetto and First Street. We have the First Street Lounge. We're also, I don't know, is there enough to show down this way? There's, it's like a couple restaurants on down this way. All right, actually, actually we are gonna show Palmetto on this side because it doesn't seem to be very long. We'll just come down here and turn down this way. The station. A salon. Oh, that seems like a fun place. Oh, this is a private residence. Oh, it's that's cool. The historic fire station. That's awesome. That's really cool. Yeah, we're gonna have to, oh, the old jailhouse. Have to go in there sometime. These themed places are really cool. Winery. I'm glad we came down this road. Again, this is Palmetto. And we'll just cross up here at the stop sign. Here we have the Dolce Vita social. See, you could go down all these streets. I mean, it's more of Sanford, so we're not gonna be able to do all that today. So we'll cross Palmetto again, but this is Second Street. They have a Goodwill right there. Over here, they have the Ritz Theater. I saw the Ritz was playing Creature from the Black Lagoon, I think is what it said. Down there, over here, there's some outdoor seating and this is Sushi Soul. We have Sushi and Soul. Celery City Craft. They've got lights hanging up right here, which would be awesome at nighttime. Across the streets, too. Huh. Cigars. Spice is nice. I hope they put in some um, cool places here that they look like they're all gutted. Yeah. 
heat market. Ooh. That brings us back up to First Street. That's where we went this way. So now we're gonna take a left here. Some signage. Magpies, modern general store. That's pretty cool. We head this way. So this is First Street. They have a ton of stuff off First Street. We like First Street. It's like a little uh, gallery on First. And then we did just do a review at Hollerbox German restaurant. It is a fantastic place to go. If you love German food, go here. Even if you aren't a fan, go for the experience because it is quite the experience. You can see it's very popular, very busy. It, it, oh, look at the wait to get in. Wow. That's something. Sorry, the sun is shining directly into the lens. So that's all hauler box. Oh, they have a little flower cart. <gasps> that's awesome. Hello. And then if you take a left here, we'll kind of go this way for a second. This is still part of the hauler box lodge section. We have the wildflower. Yeah, party bike. And then I don't think we'll go, well, I guess we can just kind of come to the end of this street here because they have Hollerbox Outfitters, which is like their little store with like gifts and stuff. And then um, on past that, they have Sanford Homebrew Shop, a true German deli. So that place is really cool. They've got a lot going on in the German deli. And then just want to show you right down here is the Ritz Theater. Creature from the Black Lagoon is playing October 12th at 726. Yeah, so we're just going to turn around and cross the road right here, turn and go on this side. So again, not going to show everything, but that looks like a cool old theater. Cross here. Oh, you just read that? Right here? Seven to three farmers market on Saturdays in this area. So now we're gonna head back up here and continue this way. What's this? A cup of coffee, so is it? Oh, I, uh, not much. There's a fountain. I love the little flower cart, that was cool. Looks like some treats out here. Clock. And continue this way down First Street. Zorba's? Zorba's restaurant? A Greek? Greek place? Ooh, I'll have to try that sometime. Got a hair place. Rotary Club. Some of these places are closed, which closed pretty early, it seems. What's that? The Colonial Room Restaurant? Huh. Look at all their awards. I'll have to try that place out sometime. And I guess we'll probably go down here to the next restaurant and then cross over. We're not gonna walk all the way down that way. Look at this, it says, coming soon, dragons are coming. The Dragon Vault? The Dragon Vault is coming soon. What road are we on now? Uh, North Park. There's that party bike. There's some other party place going down there, Rollins College. Why does it say about Rollins College? Here's the Corner Cafe. It's called a limo cycle. The Corner Cafe. That used to be the first national bank.
That is hilarious. Oh, that sounds fun. That's interesting. Look, they've got some stuff from the First National yeah, Bank. Something about it being incorporated. Oh. So maybe this is like kind of where it like started? Maybe, yeah. <laughs> They're playing some hits. Barbershop. Restaurant. That's hilarious. You can just pedal. Christos. Yeah, it seemed like there was a There's bar, a and yeah. Or something in the middle. Yep. What's Theater West End? Sweeney Todd. What? 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 Theater West and Sweeney Todd, September 7th through October something. Definitely scan the QR code because we need to go do that. So that must be like a little cool. mini theater. That's cool. Brewery and tap room. They have a lot of breweries down here. Obviously, we have a lot to a lot to try down here. In fact, if you're familiar with Sanford, tell us where we should go next. Because there's a lot. Cheese steaks. And then I think we'll just uh, cross back over this way and head to the other side. Hopefully, this is an okay tour of downtown Sanford for you. Like I said, it, it expands. Like I mean, we could go that way. There's a bakery. It just kind of expands. In fact, earlier... We went to uh, the Sanford Tavern. We didn't go into it, but right in the backside of it is a bookstore. Yeah. What's it called? Spellbound Books. Spellbound Books. They're actually going to be moving downtown, but it just shows there's a lot of things you can do down here and downtown. So we're going to cross here and head back that way. Some more signage. I love the brick road they have here. No skateboarding or bicycle riding on the sidewalk. I also like how they have these plaques that tell what each building is. I think it was possibly back that way. They have that, what is it? You'll have to look it up. That big building that it's got like several different restaurants in it. It's kind of like the Plant Street Marketplace, but it's the Sanford one. I think it's on down behind us, but again, it's something that you'd probably want to drive to. But it's got like this, it's like this building and it has a Multiple bunch of vendors yeah kind of inside of it. yep so it's called henry's depot and it's not on first street it's just that way off of myrtle ave so you still you can go down um first street but then you're gonna turn and go to myrtle ave and it's called henry's depot all right now back down there's that dragon place that'll be cool i can't wait to try that out going to this side the capital room they have a ton of drink. That looks really nice. They have a ton of drinking spots here. That looks like it's uh, no longer. Oh, opening soon. Barber shop. Hairstyling. The Breezeway Restaurant and Bar. They've got a ton of places. The Imperial's right on up here. What's this? I don't know what this is, but this looks cool. Uh, oh, huh. We have the Sullivan, which we absolutely loved. We did a video at the Sullivan, and it was awesome. We would go back there again. And then you can see that's where the clock was that we just walked by a second ago. And then here's a bookstore, book and music. I can tell you who's going to more than likely stop in here. Just a little preview of what this uh, bookstore looks like. That was a really cool store. A lot of books in there. Look at this store here. Man, they've got neat little shops. Here is the map of Sanford. I might go to the other side because the sun. Oh, there we go. Much better. So, where are we at? So we are on First Street. First Street, so... First Street. So you can see it's it's too much to walk right now we're actually just doing the really the commercial historic district but they have the parks historic georgetown residential historic district 
historic Goldsboro. So we will have to do more of these, but for now, we're doing this tour. We've got some ice cream antiques. The what? It's the Plant Street Flower Park. Oh, there? maybe. I think I've seen them before. Antiques. Really neat. They've got all this history still here with these buildings. The estate sale. Must be part of the estate sale. Decor. And I think that's gonna really wrap it up. Look at this mural they have over here on the wall. That's cool. Yeah, it's still pretty warm tonight. Got some electric vehicle parking. Monday through Friday. And then Sanford Information Center. So quite a bit to do down here. Uh, again, we didn't even hit all of it because there's so much to do, but this is one of our favorite spots down here. And it's starting to get busier now too. And like I mentioned earlier, we like parking over here. Nice place to park right next to all this stuff. We will have to jump back over here and do some more of those sections of downtown, do another walking tour of another section. All right, that was our tour of downtown Sanford. The, what was it called? The historic commercial, commercial historic yeah, district something or something like that. Like that. Uh, there's a lot of places to eat. We've eaten at a few places now down there. Uh, it's a fun area. We're gonna have to go explore more. We're gonna have to try some more of their shops. Um, we're still kind of new to the whole Sanford area, but every time we've come down here, we've enjoyed it. So, had a good time. Hopefully it was helpful. With that being said, that does it for today. Thanks for watching.